Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the essential tools every network technician needs. Whether you're just starting out in IT or you're a seasoned pro, having the right tools can make your life a whole lot easier. We're talking about diagnosing, troubleshooting, and maintaining network infrastructure, so grab your tool bag and let's get started. First up, we've got the Humble Cable Tester. This little guy is your best friend for ensuring your network cables are working properly. A good cable tester will tell you if there are any opens, shorts, or crossed wires, saving you hours of potential headache. You can grab a basic one for like 20 bucks or go all out with one that has TDR for pinpointing breaks. Trust me, investing in a decent cable tester is one of the best things you can do for your sanity as a network tech. Always test your cables first. Cable testers may not be glamorous, but they're essential. Don't leave home without one. All right, so you've got your cable tester and you've found a bad cable. What do you do? That's where the crimper comes in. This handy tool lets you create custom length network cables or replace broken connectors. Crimping might seem intimidating, but it's not rocket science. Once you get the hang of it, you'll be cranking out custom cables like a pro. Just make sure you get a good quality crimper, a network cable stripper, and maybe a punch down tool. Use the right type of connector for the cable you're using to avoid bad connections. Give those connectors a good squeeze to ensure they're snug and won't come loose later. Next up, we've got the wire stripper. This tool might seem basic, but it's incredibly versatile. The key is finding one that can handle the gauge of wire you're working with. A good wire stripper is a must-have for any network technician. And hey, if you're feeling adventurous, you can even get one that doubles as a bottle opener. Now that's what I call multitasking. All right, let's talk about the punch down tool. This bad boy is essential for dealing with patch panels, keystone jacks, or any telecommunications wiring. It helps you terminate individual wires onto metal contacts, ensuring a secure connection. The first time I used one, I nearly punched myself in the face, but with practice, it's not that bad. Use the right type of blade and always wear safety glasses. Use consistent pressure to avoid damaging contacts or ending up with a loose connection. Once you get the hang of it, wiring up a network becomes much faster and easier. Plus, it's incredibly satisfying to hear that perfect punch click. Okay, let's step up our game with the Network Analyzer. This tool is like a high-powered microscope for your network. It allows you to see what's happening at a packet level, giving you deep insights into network performance and traffic patterns. Identify bandwidth hogs, analyze network latency, and troubleshoot intermittent connectivity issues. Some network analyzers even come with security features to detect intrusions. They can be expensive, but there are decent open source options like Wireshark. Experiment with different filters and views to master the tool. You'll be amazed at the information you can glean from your network traffic. Now, if you really want to get down and dirty with your network traffic, you need a protocol analyzer. This tool captures and decodes network packets, allowing you to see the actual conversations happening between devices. It's incredibly useful for troubleshooting complex network issues and analyzing application performance. A network analyzer gives you a high-level overview, while a protocol analyzer lets you zoom in on the details. Protocol analyzers can be complex, but mastering them makes you a network troubleshooting ninja. Start by capturing a small amount of traffic and analyze it in detail. This helps you get a feel for the tool and how to interpret the data. Once comfortable, capture larger amounts of traffic and dig deeper. All right, let's talk about packet sniffers. A packet sniffer captures and analyzes network traffic. It can be used for good, like troubleshooting network problems, or for evil, like capturing sensitive data. Think of it like someone reading everything you write on a postcard. Be aware of the potential security risks associated with packet sniffers. They can be incredibly useful tools for network security professionals. Use them ethically and responsibly. If you're worried about someone sniffing your network traffic, use a VPN to encrypt your data. Now let's talk about the unsung hero of the Network Technician's Toolkit, the trusty screwdriver set. A good screwdriver set is essential for everything from opening up equipment cases to tightening loose screws. Look for a set with a variety of sizes and types of screwdrivers. You'll want both Phillips and flathead screwdrivers, as well as smaller sizes for delicate electronics. 
Magnetic screwdrivers are a lifesaver when working with small screws in tight spaces. They'll save you from dropping tiny screws and spending hours fishing them out from behind your rack. Next up, we've got pliers. From gripping, twisting, and cutting wires to loosening stubborn nuts and bolts, a good pair of pliers is essential. Needle-nose pliers are great for small wires, while lineman's pliers are better for heavier tasks. Consider adjustable pliers for a range of sizes. When using pliers to cut wire, make sure you use a sharp, clean cut to prevent fraying. This makes it easier to strip the insulation. A good pair of wire cutters will give you a clean, precise cut, making it easier to strip the insulation and connect the wire. Look for wire cutters with a comfortable grip and a sharp, durable blade. Consider the type of wire you'll be cutting. For most network cabling, a standard pair of wire cutters will do the trick. If you're cutting a lot of wire, invest in self-adjusting wire cutters. These cutters automatically adjust to the thickness of the wire. A good flashlight is an absolute must-have for any network technician. You'll want a flashlight that's bright, durable, and easy to carry around. I prefer a headlamp as it leaves both hands free to work. Look for a flashlight with multiple brightness settings. This comes in handy when working in tight spaces or preserving battery life. Network cabling can quickly turn into a tangled mess if you're not careful. That's where cable ties come in. Use cable ties to bundle cables together, secure them to racks and walls, and label them for easy identification. For most network cabling, standard zip ties will do the trick. Invest in a good cable tie gun to make installing and removing cable ties a breeze. It will save you time and effort. Fiber optic cabling is becoming increasingly common so it's good to have the right tools. At a minimum, you'll need a fiber optic cleaver, a fiber optic stripper, and a fiber optic inspection scope. These tools allow you to prepare, terminate, and test fiber optic cables. Fiber optic tools can be expensive, but there are affordable options available. If you're only working with fiber optic cabling occasionally, consider renting the tools. When working with fiber optic cable, cleanliness is key to avoid signal disruption. With the rise of Wi-Fi, it's important for network technicians to understand wireless networking. A good wireless network tester measures signal strength, identifies interference, and troubleshoots connectivity issues. Invest in a spectrum analyzer for in-depth analysis of the wireless spectrum. These tools help ensure a reliable wireless network. A power meter can be incredibly useful for network technicians. It measures the power consumption of your network devices, helping identify potential problems and optimize efficiency. Use a power meter to identify devices drawing more power than they should. Track power consumption over time to identify trends and make informed decisions. In today's connected world, it's important for network technicians to work remotely. Remote desktop software allows you to access and control another computer from anywhere. This is useful for troubleshooting network problems and providing remote support. There are many remote desktop software options available, both free and paid. When setting up remote desktop software, choose a strong password and enable two-factor authentication. This secures your connection and prevents unauthorized access. Network management software gives you a centralized platform for monitoring and managing your entire network. Track device inventory, performance, configure network settings, and troubleshoot problems. Some systems offer advanced features like automated alerts and security monitoring. Enterprise-grade systems can be expensive, but there are affordable options, including open-source solutions. Choose software compatible with your existing network devices and operating systems. Consider the features you need, scalability, and price. Network management software makes managing your network more efficient. Configuration management tools are a godsend for automating the process of configuring and managing network devices. These tools save time and effort by automating tasks like configuring VLANs and deploying software updates. Popular tools include Ansible, Puppet, and Chef. Start by automating small tasks and gradually work up to more complex configurations. This helps you get comfortable with the tools and avoid major mistakes. Configuration management tools streamline network management. And there you have it. Those are some of the essential tools every network technician should have. 
start with the basics, and gradually add more tools as you gain experience. If you have any questions or want to share your favorite tools, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tech tips and tutorials. See you next time.